plays games with Steve and Angel. All right, let's uh, sure save. Yeah, save. Yeah, let's save. Here we are. Here it is, the final battle. <laughs> this is the defendant lobby, all right. There's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if. <laughs> Hedgeworth! Sorry, I had taffy in my mouth. <laughs> Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 777777777 ID number is. Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt on this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True. Not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling on the defendant. Five minutes after the trial starts, Lana will be found guilty. But she didn't do it! I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here to hear what you have to say. It's the first time he's ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something. And the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth? Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today's the last day of the trial. We don't have time to remember to, to reminisce about the past. That depends on that depends on you. <laughs> If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? I like how they just met up. It's like, right, sit down, rap <laughs> with me. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> this is it. I'm never going to find out what Chief Gant was on her. Has on her. Has on her. What Chief Gant has on her, it's now. I'm yeah. not ready. <laughs> On second thought, I need more time. Can I have five more minutes? Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Skye. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. Hmm? But before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Chief Gant? Here we are. Morning, folks. How's everyone doing? Hey, aren't you been back to the pool yet? Uh, no, I've been drowning enough as it is in my work. <laughs> That's a good one. Don't think I can top that. If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted a request. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. What's this all about, defendant? i just like to make one simple request, and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. Do you want to be... Oh, Nick? huh? I confess to all charges against me. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman. In the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. Why am I saying it like that? Of the prosecutor's office. Yeah, I know, it's Professor. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lana. It's Prosecutor. No, Lana, no. No. Objection. You can't. Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change a defense plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. But, Lana. Your Honor? I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. 
prosecution may lack direct e the prosecution is bleh. <sighs> it's a really hard word. Actually, I need your help right now. <laughs> the prosecution may lack direct evidence against me. It has sufficiently proven its case. Oh, hello, Lana. <laughs> and circumstantial evidence. Hi. I'd like to render your verdict now, if you please. Wait, do you... The... No, that's the no the the judge is in the opposite direction. Never mind. That's very rude, Lana. <laughs> Lana, turn around. Hmm. Wait, what shampoo do you use? Well, the defendant <laughs> certainly has the right to self-representation. Does work on beards. Her request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial, even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening. Right. It appears the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Objection! One moment, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. Come now, Worthy. I understand this is a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Hm. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. What? Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. So hot. With this sudden <laughs> confession from the defendant. It's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal, hmm? Not everyone operates as you do, Worthy. Hmm. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh, to whom? As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call... Ms. Emma Skye. I request the court hears her testimony. Hold it. Hold it. Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Sky. Oh. <laughs> the exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very well, the court shall grant the prosecution's request. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gant? Worthy, you will live to regret this. Mark my words. Miss Emma Sky, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. Somebody say horse. <laughs> <laughs> now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my name is Emma. Emma Sky. My occupation? I'm Lana's little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial concerns the murder of, protect of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Well, well, okay, then. <laughs> sure gave in fast. Now, please testify about what happened to you two years ago. trip to yesteryear has finally begun. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. Mm. 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 Two years ago. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me. But I'll never forget what I saw that instant. The man raised up his knife and, and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. 
I passed out. I don't remember much. Hmm. That's understandable. However, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth, what does this testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. Got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I'll be back. Back to the past, I'm all right, Jack. <laughs> Jack, 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 Jack. <laughs> Nick, Nick, <laughs> Nick, 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 Nick. <laughs> I was uh, waiting in my sister's office that day. Why? Uh, a man came running in and took me hostage. Rest now the me. fool seeks to return to the past. <laughs> undo the future. That <laughs> is the judge. Oh, God. I'll never undo. Man raised up his knife and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. Uh, boop. Hold it! What was the prosecutor doing there? That day, there were two pre there were two people present during Dark's questioning: mm -hmm. Detective Damon Gant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Gant was there too. Neil Marshall had just received the King of Prosecutors Award. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. I assume that would also be why he was the first to run after Dark. When Dark grabbed me, I thought I was as good as dead. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in? I, I don't clearly remember what happened then, but... I don't forget what I saw in that instant. Uh, do, do, do. Hold it! That must have been a real shock. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can still see it just as clearly. Tell us, what were you doing at that moment? I believe you testify that Joe Dark was holding you hostage. When lightning struck and the lights went out, Mr. Marshall jumped on Dark. I was thrown aside and, to the, and the two were began wrestling each other. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I was watching them. Emma doesn't have any reason to lie. Anna sure does. I need to get Emma to tell me as much about this as she can. Hmm, I guess I'll just, like, keep pressing. Uh, why are we waiting? Hold it! Two years ago, the defendant was a detective at the police department, correct? Yes. She was second in command of Chief Detective Grant. <laughs> Who's Detective Grant? Oh, oh, Gant, whatever. What? Who fucking cares? <laughs> Who fucking cares about that guy? My sister. She was the best detective ever, better than Grant, or whatever the fuck his <laughs> well, name there is. There is Grant. Grant. So yes, I remember. Chief Detective Grant and Miss Sky used to be quite the pair. It's Gant. <laughs> I believe they shared the same office. Graham. <laughs> That's right. His oh. name's like Golden Graham or something, <laughs> right? Greg Golden Graham. Teddy Graham. I'd always sit at my sister's desk. I dream about playing that organ. I wanted to play that. I wanted to play it that day too. The police department and the prosecutor's office held a, held a ceremony that day. Lana promised to take me to dinner after she finished her work. A man came running in and took me hostage. Hold it. A man. Yes, Joe Dark. He was a... a serial killer. Joe Dark was brought in for questioning on the day of that ceremony. We were desperate to get anything on him that would lead to an arrest. When he saw his chance, he fled the room, right? Upon fleeing the room, Dark proceeded to take the elevator. He must have been in a panic because the elevator was going up. Then he ran into Sky in Gant's office. There's a lot of noise coming from outside, so I... Opened up the door to have a look. That's when I saw him. Why would you take the elevator if you were running away? Like, take <laughs> the stairs. <laughs> well, it might be one of those annoying set of stairs where there's no re-entry. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Neil Marshall rescued me. I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. Hold it! I'm just gonna press all of it. Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark just then. Uh, the light, uh, just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. 
There was a terrible storm going on, and lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out? Wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room, you shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? Right, but just when, just, uh, but just then lightning flashed again outside. That sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Here, more. Eh, now we're done. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. Yes. That's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but... At the time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? Ask about the picture. This picture the witness drew. I believe it has a very important meaning. Objection! But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Witness, would you mind if we added this statement to your testimony? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I would mind. Uh, let's see. Da -da. Okay. <laughs> I drew a picture of that scene once, but it seems to have been lost. Hold it! You drew a picture of the scene you witnessed, right? Yes, I wanted to do everything I could to help the investigation. I can still see it now, whenever I close my eyes. That's strange. I took over the, over the case after Prosecutor Marshall died, yet I never received any picture. Perhaps the witness is mistaken? But I did draw it, I swear. I'm not just imagining it. This picture that Emma drew, that reminds me. I guess I should check the evidence again. Well, anyway, let's continue. This scene that imprinted an image in your mind. Can you please describe it to us? The man? The man raised up his knife. I, hold on. Uh, can we, like, can flip this around? We can. Ooh. A clear handbrake can be seen on the head of the car. Just don't press A, though, if you want to flip it. Okay. Oh, uh, how do I, okay. Is it holding it up? Okay. Wait, um, I thought this would have it, but, um. I like the way you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. try to know something else. Looking through your evidence. Yeah. Look at the other evidence? Yeah! yeah. Um, okay. Try your other evidence! That's a pretty good idea, Angel. Is there not? Oh. Press B, was... Angel. There you go. See if they said anything about it. Can you flip this? Oh, wait, hold on. Dude. Oh. oh. Does I have to orientate it the right way? Pictures are on the back of the evidence list in Magic Marker. I got a very bad feeling about this. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Just make sure yeah, you're on the right one. Oh, wait. Ooh. B. Right? Yep. Yeah. Objection! Mr. Edgeworth. This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet you still insist on denying its existence? Huh? Hey, I'm not the bad guy. All I'm saying is that as the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! This is the evidence list for the SL9 incident? Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over. Turn it, uh... Ah! What's this? <laughs> oh, too scary! Yes, wh what is that? Hey, that's it! That's a picture I drew! This is the scariest picture I have ever seen. Oh my god. Indeed. Two men appear to be resting here. You're 
so Objection! What's the meaning of this? <laughs> what are you doing with that list? M me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Huh? These lists, uh, they're, they're different from each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. Mega list. You can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in that case ever reached you. What? What? Order, order! Who'd have thought, and who'd have thunk, the picture would have been drawn on the back of the list? That was handed to Detective Gun, uh, Goodman in the que- uh, That was handed- Godman? To Godman. That was handed to Detective Goodman in the questioning room? Wait a minute. This list was torn in half, and that means... Your Honor? Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are bulging from your head. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta poop! <laughs> it's the same only TP we have left. The evidence no, list, don't use that. <laughs> if the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more of, a, more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. Mm. Yes, that's quite conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Is something wrong? Do you even have to ask? Do you have to poop too? He has to poop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your, uh, sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> you may need to clean up this area. There's something drawn on the back of my list. This is that thing. Oh. Huh? That's that. That thing! Steve and I are doing the blue badger dance in unison. <laughs> that thing that was dancing in the evidence room! Apparently, the head of criminal affairs used this for his blueprint. <laughs> I guess he was out of the scrap- uh, I guess he was out of scrap paper. Mm. So. Very well, witness. Will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Uh, huh? Oh, it, yes, sir, Your Honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something when she saw that picture. This is the picture I, uh, I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were two shadows. What were shadows? After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. To think a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Well, I don't see any contradictions here. This clearly shows Joe Dark about to murder Professor Neil Marshall. <laughs> hmm. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Um, I want to look at that picture real closely. Oh, look at that picture. Oh, look at that picture. Oh. I want that picture. I want that picture. I want that picture. Um. I can't flip that. No, um, you can't have this picture. Tears in half. <laughs> so. I'm seeing that they're behind that arched window. Um, I can't really make out what the weapon is. It's just like a stick. Um, the way that they're holding each other. It's got him by the neck. And then I... I don't know if, like, the doodle is unrelated. Or if it's like, oh, it's actually this on the, from a, seen from above. Or, I don't know. A Jigglypuff seen from, from above. above. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a regional variant Jigglypuff. Doop, 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 doop. I will just keep pressing and then I will keep that theory in the back of my head. Okay. This is a picture that I drew two years ago. 
Hold it! Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um, I think I drew it two or three days later. At first I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time, the detective team was reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge under the direction of Damon Gant and Lana Skye. Two or three days later. Memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? The flash of lightning was so bright all I could see were shadows. Hold it! So at the time you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue? No, I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright and I was knocked to the floor. You were knocked to the floor? Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him, I was knocked away. I turned around. And that's when the lightnings flashed. Poor Emma. I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. What happened after the lightning flashed? After that, I must have fainted. Hold it! You mean, you didn't see the actual murder take place? No, I'm sorry. OBJECTION! The flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. <laughs> anyway, this picture... This picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. Hold it! Sorry for asking so many times. Are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course! This is, ex this is the exact scene. Was it influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives? OBJECTION! Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her memory, Mr. Wright? No, no, of course not. I'd better watch out or he might find some way to cut my salary. I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives. So, I don't think anyone's story would have influenced me. Mr. Wright, is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Huh? Oh, well... That's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind. And yet... There's clearly a contradiction here. Look through evidence. Boom, 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 Stabbed in the back. Died from a punctured heart and lung. A knife tip was in the wound. Nail. 7 p.m. Single stab wound piercing heart and lung from the back. Died from blood loss in under 10 minutes. Wo uh, weapon found in wound was missing tip. He was stabbed in the back and died from a punctured heart and lung. Jesus Christ. Um, Files of the Dark Killings. It doesn't have like a. It doesn't say anything about like the way that he like murders people too, does it? No. no. It's just the people who are involved. So I'm guessing it's this. I have this in my mind only because there's like a they're in front of the window where the statue is and like there's a vase. That's the evidence. So, he's got him by the neck, and he's, I mean, I can't really tell where he would stab him, like he's to his side, okay. Found the Chief Grant's safe, evidence from something, but what? Bears Emma Sky's prints. Anyways, at that. But hold back. You don't need to keep going that far. Uh, okay. These aren't really relevant anymore. As far as I know. Screwdriver. Evidence from a past case of Edwards. Brought back to his office by Gant's request. 
So, what are they asking you right now? Or not, actually, they're not asking you anything, but, like, what they did... Phoenix did kind of say something at the end. A116, it's written on the tag. That means it has nothing to do with the current case. A113. <laughs> uh. What did Phoenix say? Um, hmm. That there's a contradiction with the drawing. Okay. What's the contradiction? Must have fainted. This picture says exactly what I saw in that instant. Um. Um. <clears throat> There's lightning coming from behind them. Not the other way, whatever. The full drawing. It's the arched window, I think. Um. I can't remember exactly what the story was about, like, the way that she was knocked away. You don't need to know about that. Look at the picture. God, it should be, like, really obvious. Yeah. Um, you even said it. The weapon? Look at your evidence. Okay. Don't go that way. Go the other way. This one? What does it say? Seven in the back died from punctured heart and lung. A knife tip was found. It was in the wound. Um. I guess it's just I don't know. It's hard to tell from the picture where exactly he intends on stabbing him. Apparently he was stabbed in the back. But I guess if he had him hold him like that, why would he need to stab in the back? So I think I'm going to present this. Objection! I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness drew contains a blatant contradiction. Also, it sucks. What? I was I was a kid. You were 14. That's old enough. Wow. But I still remember it just like it was yesterday. Mr. Wright, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for us. What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report? What part of it? Um, I guess it's just the way that he's holding him. Um, or no. Go look at the. Can you look at the autopsy report again? Uh, what is that? Plus or no, probably one minus. No, I don't think you do it during these. Okay, I'm gonna help you here actually because I, I, um, there was another detail. Do you remember how many times um he was stabbed? Oh, um, no. Autopsy report said one time. One time. So, something that you said that was interesting. Um, like, well, I was talking about this drawing. Yeah, I think I might have accidentally misled you because I was thinking about something else. Oh. Um, but you said something else that actually is. Uh, about the weapon, right? What's weird about the weapon in this picture? Uh, I can't really tell what it is. Right. It's Yeah, it's just like a blank silhouette. But you would think... You would know, remember exactly what the weapon was? So, the the autopsy report... It's too bad you can't go back to it. That's kind of annoying. Uh-huh. Um, so, the autopsy report says that he was stabbed once and that the tip is missing. Right, uh, right. It was but, found inside his wound. But right now, what is what's weird about this picture? It's already missing the tip. Okay, there you go. I mean, yeah, I guess if it was a knife, you would be able to take that. The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife the man is holding. If you look closely, you could see it. Its tip is broken. In fact, you don't even have to look closely to see that. But Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. See the murder weapon? Its tip is broken too. If I recall, the tip of the knife was found broken off in the victim's body. 
It was the conclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was a murderer. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. OBJECTION! Huh? Where could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not yet be broken! Oh! Ah! What's the meaning of this? OBJECTION! Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Okay. OBJECTION! Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right, but what does this mean? OBJECTION! The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. Okay. OBJECTION! That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she remembered correctly. I believe you were annoyed at the time. But she was sure, but she was sure she remembered correctly. But uh, th there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Okay. OBJECTION! <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. This is a there is another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About a little something called falsified evidence? You're treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that this broken knife might be the piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny the possibility. No. Ah! Order, order, order! Are you saying that the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Hmm. I... I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. <laughs> there must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of there being two broken knives? Another broken knife besides Joe Dark's. Could there have been one? There is another one. Where is it? If the witness is, if the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume then that you have some information about this other broken knife? If so, please feel free to enlighten us. Mur the murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. It's these? No, no. but you're, you have the right idea. Oh. Um, because that alone doesn't have any sort of oh. blade on it. But you're, you are, you're right, but not that though. Oh, okay. What, how can you prove that? That it's that? Yeah. Because, yeah, there's, like, a missing blade from it. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. It has a picture of it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Take that. Take that. The answer lies in the past. Samurai Jack. <laughs> Two years in the past. Right here inside this picture. That's not that big. This is a picture of the awards ceremony. Ah! <laughs> ah! What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? It's the, the broken murder weapon. Notice the award Prosecutor Marshall is holding. Th 
that's a broken knife. As we earlier concluded, the knife in the picture was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was in all likelihood this award. Order, order, order. Neil Marshall was awarded King of Prosecutors that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and a broken knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. Objection! But that... that can't be. Oh? And why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because if the King of Prosecutors Award knife was the murder weapon, then, mur then the murderer and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... This man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh! But the prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. What's going on here? <laughs> it seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. How the... Wait, I... I remember now. I remember everything. Witness? Mr. Edgeworth? What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? Uh, the one with that picture scribbled on the back? That very scary picture? <laughs> I knew it. This picture. I'm the one who drew it. Yeah, we know. What? Oh, the other, I see the other part. You drew yeah. that? That's right. The list was torn in half at the time I drew this picture. Sukwon is uh, doing the dance again. They're both doing the dance now. I don't remember the dance, so I can't turn along. All this time, I've been trying to so I've been trying so hard to forget the horrifying days. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. Would you please tell us what you've recalled, Miss Skye? Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix up, and now the blue badger. This should be interesting. Well, it'll be best to pick this up tomorrow. Oh. oh.